Good Saturday evening, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for another edition of News Channel 3's video weather blog, Weather Overtime. We're looking again at some fairly quiet conditions in the Mid-South area tonight. Not a lot going on, but we do have a new cold front approaching, which is bringing a little bit more rainfall to the Midwestern states, back around portions of Iowa, exactly where they don't need it, and down into parts of Texas. This will be moving its way into the Mid-South as we get into tomorrow. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. For Forecast in the red bar at the bottom of your screen, 70s for tonight, winds out of the east fairly light and mainly clear skies for tonight. Tomorrow more sunshine and temperatures once again back into the 90s, so not exactly any good news there. No rainfall today and a very dry month. We're looking at an inch point seven deficit, doesn't sound like a lot. We've got a very nice surplus for the entire year. Over a foot of rainfall has come down from the Mid-South, keeping us well in advance for rain. We should be at about 37 and 3 quarter inches. We have more than 50 inches in the rain gauge total. We should be getting over 2 inches for the month, 2 and a third inches plus. We're only at about 2 thirds of an inch, so we could use a lot more rainfall. Here's the big news for today. Record high temperature set, blowing away an old record that was set back in 2010 and in 1891. This record has stood for a very long period of time. 95 was the old record high. 97, the one set today, so a very hot Saturday. First Saturday of autumn in the Mid-South and lows back in the lower 70s, 10 degrees above where we should be. So a very hot Saturday in progress. Record low for today, 43, 1983. Not even anywhere close to that, unfortunately. Overnight weather, not seeing a lot of major change by News Channel 3 at 10 back into the mid to upper 70s. If you're tuning in after that and catching this weather before News Channel 3 daybreak, starting at 6 a.m., low temperatures into tomorrow. We'll be back into the mid to upper 60s to lower 70s, maybe a few lower 60s on the plateau area back toward around Jackson and up to around Humboldt, but otherwise a very warm morning starting things off. More moisture starts to make its way on through by mid-morning into midday, so we'll see a few more clouds, but not enough to block out the heat. Temperatures by lunchtime, end of church services tomorrow, upper 80s to lower 90s, and into tomorrow afternoon, back to our west, we'll be looking at more chances of showers and thunderstorms, most, most of the chances of rainfall going to be expecting are going to be into late tomorrow night to our west and then moving into the mid-south as we go past news channel 3 at 10 on sunday the possibility of some areas of weather more activity in the way of rainfall will be possible on monday overnight lows again upper 60s to lower 70s tonight low temperatures back in the upper 60s to lower 70s tomorrow's highs mid 90s Maybe a few upper 90s out there, not out of the question if we get enough sunshine, but increasing clouds may help to filter out enough of that sunshine to drop the temperatures, hopefully into the lower 90s only. Isolated showers and thunderstorms after sunset for the most part out there, and then more chances throughout the rest of Monday. Not great chances, but 20% chance if you have any outdoor activities, please keep that in mind. After that, the temperatures finally get back to where they're supposed to be back in the mid to upper 70s, a little bit below normal for this time of the year. Lows Tuesday morning in the upper 50s, maybe some lower to mid 50s by Wednesday morning. That sounds pretty good. And temperatures back in the lower to mid 80s as we get closer to the week's end. Rising a little bit into next weekend, upper 80s, possibly coming close to 90. But then if everything holds toward next Tuesday, not this Tuesday, but the one following, more chances of showers and thunderstorms and temperatures back into the uh, mid to lower 70s and rain chances approaching 50% but that's 10 days in advance, so there's not much chance of that really arriving in the next 10 days exactly that same way, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for updates on that. Pictures from today, weather, sunrise, sunset, tweet them to me. would like to see them so we can share them with everybody, aonic underscore WREG3, and also don't forget to tune into the EAB Network, East Arkansas Broadcasters, Country 92.5, and Oldies 102.3, your complete forecast throughout the rest of the weekend, and if you'd like to know more about Mid-South Astronomy, we take a look at what's going on tonight in our feature Skyblog 3 that's available at WREG.com slash weather from the Videolicious system. If you'd like to see more about that, a couple of satellite flyovers tomorrow morning, including the International Space Station, and also looking at a very nice night for viewing 
other stuff out there as long as you stay away from city lights otherwise a little bit on the hazy side out there could be a bit of a problem questions concerns ideas please let me know austin.onic at wreg.com the email address there and again you can contact me through any of those social media pages out there facebook instagram twitter google plus youtube out there and several others as well we'll have a complete update on your forecast again on news channel 3 at 10 and another one coming up bright and early tomorrow morning so stay tuned for that as we talk about our next cold front that's going to be on the way from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. This has been your quick evening forecast. Stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 on air and online and join us on News Channel 3 at 10 or daybreak tomorrow morning.